Coach Tim, congrats. It was a close game after the first half, but you took control of the third quarter. What was that doing during the game? Well, I tell you what, um, we didn't say anything special. Our guys are, are vets. They know what they have to do. And uh, uh, what certainly wasn't anything special coming from me. Um, we just knew that they had beaten us up in the last third quarter when we played. So we knew we had to come out with better fire in, the, in this third quarter. I tell you, if I was a, a TV panelist today, I wouldn't know who to give the best player to. I mean, uh, it could have been L.A. for those big threes. It could have been Scotty for his game-long brilliance. Christian for his defense and making shots and and always it can always be Justin so you know that's when we're at our best when everybody's contributing uh, everybody's uh, um, uh, working on the offense and the defensive side and I, I thought you know we played our best game of the series today and uh, um, you know it, it's not always going to be like this but but it was great to see everybody contributing together and that was one of the things we felt that we uh, we kind of broke apart in our last game. We didn't have the, uh, we didn't have, you know, it, <clears throat> people were trying to pretty much do it on their own. But today it was, it was really a collective effort. And uh, uh, it was hard for Morocco to see and focus on any one guy. Uh, although they tried to do it with Justin, but there were a lot of other people contributing, especially this guy right here next to me. Coach, a combined 54 points from Scott E and Justin tonight. What can you say about their performance as well as them winning the BTC and the best game? <laughs> well, I, I just been saying all conference, and you know, Justin is doing Justin's things, and and Scotty is doing Scotty things, and uh, uh, the value they they that they bring to the all around game is is amazing. I'm especially proud of Scotty, not because you're sitting here, Scotty. I, 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 I promise you, I, I maybe well maybe not. I won't say this with you. I'm just kidding. Um, no, but the thing that makes me most proud about Scotty getting this award is that people are rewarding him not just for being a scorer, you know, they're rewarding him for an all around game. And I, I think that includes his defense, obviously his rebounding, you know, but his, his ability to, uh, to keep his teammates involved and, and make great passes. And then, you know, the, the offense coming on where he can, you know, he's a threat in and out. So, uh, uh, it's really the reward was for an all-around game, not just you know one guy who shoots a lot and scores a lot of points. And uh, I don't think there's any doubt that Scotty is the premier all-around player in the league at this point uh, in the PBA. He he plays both sides of the ball and uh, um, he can do all those things. And and the same is true for Justin. You know, uh, Justin is is as much as he is a great scorer, he's still a great all-around player as well. So. Uh, uh, I just like it when all-around players are, are rewarded. Uh, Two-way players, guys that do multiple things. That makes me very proud. Questions? A lot of things said about Scottie's rebounding, but how about his scoring? How has it improved over the years? Well, you know, um, Scotty will attest to this. About, uh, I think, when we came back from the break, you know? When we came back from the break, we told Scotty that... Uh, uh, that he was going to be the primary ball handler, and we wanted to move L.A. more off the ball and uh, save L.A.'s legs a little bit more, um, and use his shooting ability. So we really asked Scotty to come in and be more of a ball handler, be more of an initiator, and more of a creator for the team. And, uh, um, and I, I think maybe the first couple of games you struggled a little bit, but after the second or third game, he just started taking hold of it, and he's never looked back. And... Uh, um, so I think it's not that he, I think it comes down to now he's getting more opportunity as a, uh, to do the things he does offensively. He's, he's getting more opportunity by handling the ball, being able to play off uh, ball screens. Um, you know, he was the guy oftentimes sitting in the corner while LA was doing his thing. And now we've kind of reversed it so Scotty can do it. So I think it's just big, just opportunity for Scotty. And he's really taken the ball and just gone with it. And so, uh, been amazing uh, progression to watch over the years. Uh, 
uh, target namin na sa team para uh, makuha yung uh, makarating kami dito. So, uh, siguro uh, extra na lang yun for us, uh, especially personally sa akin. And uh, like I said kanina, uh, ano, uh, for now, it's a uh, uh, distraction sa akin yun. So, nag-focus ako dito sa game. So, kung ano mang uh, naglumabas kanina, kung ano mang uh, uh, kinalabasan sa awarding. So, hindi ko naiisip yun. For now talaga, sa nakapokus ako sa game 4 para makabalik kami sa series. So, remember, stay cool kay God na, na nakuha ko yun. Let me just say that Jap, uh, Justin and, and Scotty did a great job. You know, uh, we've all seen this over the years. You know, when, when the players get the best player award, that motivates the other team and they, they usually end up losing the game. But, uh, you know, I think Scotty and Justin really had a sense that they wanted to prove that they deserved the awards tonight. And uh, they really stepped up. And I think their teammates stepped up for them as well. And I thought that was, that was nice. How crucial is it that you're tied at 2-2 rather than being down 1-3? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it's the uh, difference between death and life, I tell you. It's, it's uh, like I said at halftime, we're playing for our lives in this game. Um, you know, we go down 3-1. Uh, it's not impossible, but the odds are greatly against us. So we go 2-2. Again, now it's a best of three series. Um, and we've, you know, it's it's equal. So it's basically whoever gets the next game is going to have the leg up. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's, it's it was a huge, it's a huge difference. And uh, um, this was, in my mind, a must win for us to stay in this series and, and have a chance to win. Um, your on Japheth, well, are you are you done with Scotty? Yeah. Because he needs to get back in and start and shower. Anybody need to? Uh, let, uh, if they have a question for Scotty. Let him ask first, if I may. Okay. All right, dude, go. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let's see. The question was Japheth. Yeah. Japheth had to leave the game. Um, he had to leave the game. I didn't take him out. He had to leave the game because he was starting to feel the uh, the calf uh, injury. I don't know how badly he was re-injured, but uh, once he went out, they, the trainers told me that he was out for the game. So um, I don't know how bad it was. Uh, that's always, always the risk with a calf injury that you re-injure it. And we were trying to be really careful. I was trying not to overplay him. I only played him like three or four minutes in the first half. Um, I saw him getting tired in the second half, but we were making a run, and I didn't have the discipline to take him out. I should have had more discipline to take him out. And if he has that injury again, it's probably, that's, that's on me. That's not on him. So, uh, um, well, you know, it, it returns to being a game time decision on on uh, on Friday. No, on Sunday. So, hopefully, maybe two or three days. And maybe it wasn't too bad. We'll see. But I have no idea yet. I have to get back to the locker room and talk to the trainers. But it was. But he did come out and play when we really needed him. You could see the impact he had on the floor. I mean, the impact defensively, the impact offensively. They had to play us a little differently. Um, we were able to get a little bit more rest for Christian and Justin with him out there without losing a lot. So, I mean, we really needed him to do what he did tonight. Uh, I hope that that doesn't uh, sacrifice uh, anything for him in the, in the future. Coach, um, uh, does this remind you of like 2016? Not really. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because that game four that we played is, people ask me what is my most memorable game in my career? And if I had to really, really narrow in and pick one game, it would be that game four in 2016. That's what I always call the, uh, um, the J.J. and Mark game. You know, we were down 18 or so, and J.J. and Mark came out in the third quarter and just completely turned the game around. It was one of the most miraculous games. And that was in the era when you, when you had a big lead, you lose. Now you have a big lead, you have a chance. But back then, you have a big lead, you normally lose. So... Uh, um, J.J. and Mark came out and just electrified the crowd and turned that game on its heel. And we won that game and went on to win the next two and, and with Justin Brownlee's big shot and won the championship. So this game didn't quite have the drama as that, of that one. 
but it does, you know, it equals things up. And anytime you can equal it up, it, it now narrows down to a best of three. It was a best of seven. Now it's best, it was a best of five. Now it's a best of three. There's no more questions. That's our first game. Congrats, Coach Thank you.